everybody, this is Jesse Lee, and today we're talking about the Flam, which I was just playing a whole bunch of. Uh, and um, this is uh, continuing in my video uh, series of, of hand technique videos for drummers. These can be applied to anywhere in your drumming world. Um, probably not taiko drums or maybe concert bass drum, but anything you have your hands together on a drum, uh, you'll be able to use these tips, right? Uh, if you're a drum set drummer, that's my background, just so you know, these are all applicable on drum set. And this is kind of where I'm focusing because drum set drummers, I want to give you guys some tools to be able to use this in your fills and things like that where you can actually start improvising with flams, right? Now, flams are super cool. Uh, and if you remember from the last video, this is a continuing video in a, uh, a series of hand technique videos that I'm doing for drummers. So check uh, down below because in the last video, I think we talked about one of the videos. We talked about switching seamlessly from singles to doubles at will and being able to improvise that. All right, so um, I want to get you to the same point with flams where you can start implementing them in your playing. without having to think about it, where your hands just kind of like go for it, you know? So, um, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today, all right? So, so what is the flam, all right? The flam is super awesome. It's basically an embellishment, they call it an embellishment. So here's the concept. There are gonna be a few different variations, but I want to start with the basic principle of what we're talking about here. Uh, in any note that you play on drums, right? Let's say that's my main note, right? I'm, I'm hitting on the downbeat of count one. One, two, three, four, one, right? So if I were to do a flam, flam is an embellishing note. So it comes right before the downbeat, right? Right, right before. I don't hit the uh, the flam on the beat. It's not one, two, three, four, da-da. It's one, two, three, four, da-da. So the actual note is on that downbeat and the embellishment is just like a 30 second note before, right? So just, just, right before that. So, uh, and you want to be able to do this with both hands. Really, uh, my teacher used to tell me, he said, uh, his name was Mel, old Mel Zelnick. I remember him. Great teacher. Uh, he basically said, hey, when you're doing these, um, what you want to do is just drop one hand, right? You're like dropping it to make that embellishment. No. It's not, right? This is a, almost a compound stroke. Now, you will get to the point when you're doing loud flams and you want to do stuff where it's like, yeah, your right hand is here, and instead of your left hand being way down here, it's actually like here. Especially when you do fast hand-to-hand -hand flams and things like that. But initially to start out, I always talk about intentionality with drumming, and initially to start out, you really want to make sure you're separating those so that you have the control to do it, so you have options. Right? If you can only play a flam this way, that's fine, but it doesn't give you very many options. I can play it this way and this way. Right? And at all different all different volumes, right? So and speeds. So uh, this being the case, whenever you practice your flams, you want to make sure you're um, you can start with, we'll say, uh, the strokes uh, of your hands, the main notes, can be a little louder. But then when you go to do your flams, make sure there's a clear difference, so you're being very intentional. Everything in drumming is being intentional. Every single thing. Um, so you got to start with that. And when you're, when you're playing the quieter notes, you don't want to hit that main note and force down the stick. You still want to be relaxed with it. So even if you're throwing an accent in there on the flam, notice I'm not I'm not being tight about this whole thing. You want to come down in a very relaxed way. Right? By the way, I'm doing flam triplets right now. We'll talk about the different variations, but just know you can start with hand-to-hand -hand flams, left, right, left, uh, right, left. Also, I'm not sure if you're seeing a mirror view. So what I'm referring to, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. 
just reverse it with whatever you're, if you're left-handed, right-handed, or if you're seeing a mirror image, right? So here's where uh, you want to see a clear difference between the hand that is doing the embellishment note and the hand that is actually playing the main note, right? So um, once you get that and you can, you want to keep it nice and relaxed, you'll notice the faster you go, the lower, you won't be able to get that um, non-dominant hand, the, the embellishment hand. You're not going to get it super low where like here, you see I'm just basically dropping the stick. The faster you go, it'll start bouncing a little bit more and that's okay. That's okay. Just at these slow tempos, you just want to be really intentional about about keeping those sticks. Keep the embellishments, the embellishments. All right, so that's the first thing. Um, so you just wanna get comfortable with that motion, right? And then you can start practicing flams where it's like, okay, now I'm raising the non-embellished, I mean, the, I'm raising the embellishment note a little bit more. So instead of playing way down here, you're doing something like this, right? Where the right, right hand's here, left hand's here, and then same switching. Now there's a few other things you could do with flams where you're playing a little more open, right? Up, up. You can almost hear da da, da da. You can hear the right? And then there's the very closed version, right? You hear how much closer those notes are together? Well, let me demonstrate. Here's the closed version. And here's the open. Closed. Open. You know, it almost sounds like a dotted 16th or something like that. So, um, so just be aware that when you're playing, uh, let me just pick this one sticking to demonstrate this. With a very closed sounding flam, Here's what flam triplets sound like. By the way, sticking for the flam triplets, uh, we're just doing triplets. One, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. These are all singles, except for on that first one, we're throwing a left hand, left hand on the, the embellishment note, and then uh, embellishment, left, right, and then switch it. Embellishment, right, left. So for this example, this is the sticking. This will change more in the in a little bit when I talk about variations on this. But uh, so um, here's the deal with with flams. Um, here's the closed version on those triplets that I was just saying, right? Closed, where it's real close together. Here's what that sounds like. Now here's what the open sounds like. Closed. Open. I'm hoping you guys can hear the difference between those two. Open, closed. Um, now, I can't remember if this is actually the terminology they would use in real drum lesson language because it's been so long since I've taken a drum lesson or like looked at books in the drumming world. Um, but if, if you know it by a different language, I call it closed and open, as long as you're getting the concept. All right, so now that's kind of the basic things you want to look out for. Uh, you got your high, low stick variations. You want to be really intentional about when you're practicing these. Practice them with both higher embellishments and lower embellishment notes, all your stickings, right? Reversing hands. Always as drummers, we practice everything right-handed first and then left-handed. Or if you're left-handed, practice everything left-handed first and then reverse it. Always reverse. It's good for your brain to become ambidextr ambidextrous. Um, yeah, it's just so good for your brain. I can't even tell you how good for your brain is. Um, yeah, when you're like 70 and you're still sharp as a wit because you've been ambidextrous, trained yourself to be ambidextrous your whole life, uh, people are going to be jealous. Other 70-year-olds. So, um, all right. So that being the case, um, now we want to get into combinations, right? So there's a few combinations that if you can kind of switch between these... Um, 
you can start implementing them on drum set and they sound really amazing, right? And I did a little bit of it at the beginning of the video. Um, so for some of these examples, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, since I don't have my drum set, I'm gonna pretend like this is a snare and I'm gonna pretend like that's like a tom or something, right? This would be my floor tom. That's a high tom. <laughs> I'll just practice on the high tom for now, just cause those two sound exactly the same. Anyway, uh, so um, I wanna share with you a few things that I really like in terms of stickings. I already just showed you one, right? Your triplets. Those sound really good when you start to put them on the toms, like putting you know, your right hand flam on the tom and your left hand flam on the snare. And then, you know, switching. All right, and then, uh, uh, so you can do that. That's a three note sticking, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, technically it's a six note sticking. One, two, three. By the way, if you want rudiments uh, written out for any of these flam variations, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to transcribe this and put it as a, so you can download and, and actually see the sticking because sometimes this gets a little confusing, right? Especially when my hands are moving real fast, right? All right, so that's the first one, right? That's a six note sticking. Um, there's four note stickings, right? Um, singles, right? Right, left, right, left. But before that first right, you put a tiny flam with the left hand. So technically the embellishment starts on the left hand. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Um, and then same thing with the left hand. Uh, left, right, left, right is your basic four note singles pattern, right? Left, right, left, right. Adding a tiny little embellishment with the right hand to start the phrasing. that one I can get that one really fast yeah these four note stickings I really like all right so you get a four note and a three note sticking what about a two note sticking well that would be uh, you could do flam doubles which I, I don't remember what they're called <laughs> again if if you're an actual marching drummer and you're like uh, ragging on me for my language that's fine I, I totally forgot what all these rudiments are called I haven't studied any of these books in years I just do them because I know what they are in my body. I don't remember the terminology. Anyway, so doubles, right? Uh, our basic double stroke, we can put flams on the front of each double, right? So it sounds like this. Oh. So what am I doing there? Right flam starts again with a tiny embellishment with the left hand. Even though it's a right flam, left hand hits a little bit before the right hand. And then, right? So get those nice and fast. And then, uh, let's see, there's another uh, triplet one, and uh, it's a variation on our right, right, left triplet. So you think triplet, triplet, triplet. But before that first right hand, you actually have a, an embellishment, right, with the left hand. So if you string it together with triplets, it sounds like this. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. I love this one because I can get this super fast. If you notice on the sticking, it's basically doubles, right? But they're like relaxed, you know? They're if you look at the sticking, it's technically right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, but you put them in the form of triplets where it kind of has this relaxed feel. All 
I love this one in the middle of a drum solo. Right? Getting a... Yeah, it sounds really cool to me. I just like that. So anyway, um, so that's really good. And then you could also lead it with the opposite hand if you're doing a left hand, left, left, right. Right? Um, and But then you're, you're embellishing with that tiny little right hand note before the two lefts. So stringing that together, it sounds like this. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Right? So, um, yeah. And then, uh, so we got a triples. By the way, I think that one's called a Swiss triplet, which is different than our earlier triplet one. Swiss, regular. Swiss, regular. Swiss, regular. Swiss, regular. So, um, and they provide different, uh, the, the cool thing about doing these different stickings, a lot of people are like, well, if it's just sounds the same, if there's a flam and then two regular notes, why does it sound different? The difference is, you if you put one hand on, if you're a drum set player, you could put one hand on a tom, and it sounds really cool when you just keep the hands in the same place, but you change up the sticking. So here's, uh, let's pretend again, this is our tom, and this is our snare. So here's the Swiss triplet. And then here's our regular flam triplet. So do you see how you when you just mix up the sticking, it sounds really cool when you just put, you literally just separate your hands on a different drums and it sounds cool. So, so do that. Um, now there's, now if you get all, oh, and then the last, okay, we talked about flam doubles, right? Double strokes. The last one is hand to hand flams, right, left, right, left. This one is really cool. Uh, I love this one as well. So it's the right left sticking, right? Just that right, normal notes. But you're just adding an embellishment on every single note. So here's what it sounds like when you get faster. So it's, this is cool. Sounds awesome, right? Put it in the fill. Um, yeah, so all these things you can, you can um, start using them. And then uh, what you want to do is after you get comfortable with each of these variations, getting them memorized in your body, right? You can start switching between them. Uh, one that I really like, this is a seven note phrase. So there's a bit of polyrhythm involved here. Um, uh, it's it's a four note and then a three note phrase. So you have a four note flam, right, left, right, left, and then three, a triplet, right, left, right, and then it switches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it switches to a left hand lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, what I like to do, I use this fill all the time on, in my drum solos uh, or in my fills on drum set where I'm putting one hand on a tom and then uh, one of the accents is on the tom and the other one is on the snare. So you put the four note sticking with the 
hand on the tom, and then the three notes sticking with the uh, accent on the snare. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one. So you can do that. This is what it sounds like faster. One two three four five six seven 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 one. I can't count that fast. Or you could do the thing where you just uh Instead of switching to four and three on the tom, you keep your right hand accent on the snare and then your left hand on the, the tom. Um, yeah, so another one is uh, fives. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So that, there's another variation for you. Really, um, once you get all these in your body, you want to be able to switch between them. So just practice putting your triplets, your triplet flams, next to your hand-to-hand -hand flams. And then practice doing the hand-to-hand -hand flams, moving into the Swiss triplets. Right? Um, singles. And uh, doubles. So I'm switching between three and four note singles, right? And doubles, right? Oh, that's not doubles. So yeah, basically uh, all um, that you got to do here is, I mean, all you got to do, it's a lot, it takes a lot of effort. I mean, it takes a lot of practice, but I've given you a few variations. I think I gave you four different, four or five different ones, but all you need to do is start practicing each one and then transitioning between each one. And if you're like me, a drum set player, all you do is just go back to the drum set and whenever time you have like a flam, Put that main note on like a different tom and it starts to sound really cool where you're keeping your hands on the snare. All right, so that's my tip for today. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more hand technique videos, just go ahead and click that uh, right there. And that will take you to more of this stuff, more other great tech, uh, technique uh, videos and, and tips that I have to get your playing faster and smoother and more relaxed and, uh, yeah, and get everyone to hire you. You know, that's what we want. We want gigs. All right. Everyone have a good day. Talk to you soon.